The goals of my video are to address the practice of public scholarship as a scholar performer and to add to the theoretical conversation about critical positionality in ethnography. Continuing the cultural work of undoing fieldwork by my mentor, Michelle Kisliak, I have reframed the field of my ethnographic inquiry to focus on my experiences as an Asian American performing agent. To engage with the conversation about the role of public intellectual in the society, I pick up where Deborah Wong left off. Theoretically, Wong positions her ethnographic endeavors as a consequence of performance. My reflexive narratives reverse the formulation to position performance as a consequence of ethnography. In addition to breaking the silence and claiming a space for Asia and Asian America in popular music, my performances with my band, Zan, have helped me to ameliorate my personal struggle with Orientalism and racial melancholia. These performances have offered me a set of opportunities to dynamically engage with my identification as a Taiwanese-American individual. They have allowed me to create a community for fellow Taiwanese and Asian Americans who experience the loss of the sense of heritage and social belonging as racial minorities in the society. After our performance at the Taiwan Center in Flushing, a woman who appeared to be in her 50s approached me. Wearing an exhilarated smile on her face, she thanked me profusely for performing at the Taiwan Center. She exclaimed, Your music made me love rock music! I never appreciated rock music before today. I love it! It felt like an explosion! Maybe rock music never spoke to her because by convention, it does not represent the experiences of people like her. I felt like I achieved the goal of crafting a space for Taiwan through this performance. This transformation to me and to my Taiwanese American audience members provided an entry into the imaginary terrain of Taiwanese America, a space of comfort in which we felt like we belonged, hopefully beyond the duration of the performance. Orientalism and melancholia are cultural impediments, structures of feeling that shadow our existence. If the cycle of performing, ethnographic writing, and back to performing can relieve us from this burden, let us continue to do so.